All right, guys, it's story time. This was too funny not to share. If you're a little bit squeamish, you may not want to listen, but I thought this had to be documented. I apologize about the wind noise. We've got some crazy weather right now. The Diesel and I are out here on our morning walk as usual. And if you guys know me, you know I find myself in some uh, shitty situations. So I got out here this morning and my bowels were barking. I thought I could continue the walk, make it through no problem, get back, do my thing, and move on with my day. But my sphincter was knocking on heaven's door and something had to come out. So I had a few options. Just drop where I'm at, pull my pants up, do the walk of shame, and move on. That did not sound like the best option. I think I've probably had one or two emergencies like that in my life where I did not have access to toilet paper and had to drop one off. That being said, those first couple times, I actually had a buddy ride his bike to a porta potty and get me toilet paper. Shout out to Luke. I don't know if you remember that. I'm sure you do. Another time, I used a leaf. Didn't Nothing happened. It was fine. And we were in water. So I just got back in the water right after that and we moved along just fine. No water around here, uh, at least not clean enough to get in. So there's a few options on your body that you can use to get the job done. I could have just used my drawers and free balled the way home. I could have sacrificed my sock. I could even sacrifice this beanie, but all of those options did not sound good. And I was just about to resort to pulling up my pants and doing the walk of shame about a mile to the house. So I just decided to do one last Google search because I had something in mind, but I wasn't sure how safe it was to use. And sure enough, upon my Google search, I found that moss was one of the top options for being used as toilet paper as emergencies in the woods. I was squatting just like this. I look over to my right, and this is what I see. Boom. Oh my gosh. The gold mine of the woods toilet paper. So I come over here. I pull off some moss. I'll show you what that looks like. So I just use my nails to just kind of start at one point because this stuff breaks up pretty easy and boom would you look at that it took about two of these to completely clean my glory hole well there that is I'm not gonna show you too much but we got the job done and honestly that was a really good experience this stuff is super soft it's still got a little bit of moisture in it so it cleaned up really good so I just wanted to give you guys a pro tip We'll see what happens if I get some parasites or something or get the coronavirus from this, but I think we'll be all right, and this stuff saved the day. So, moss for the win. There's a few other things that the woods has to offer. Obviously, there's a few types of leaves that you can use, but honestly, that's kind of a last resort, and the specific leaves that were recommended are nowhere to be found. Especially now, we're going into spring, and there aren't really a lot of leaves yet, so that was off the table. I've heard that stones work really well, especially like river stones or stones that are in the bottom of a creek, but that really just didn't appeal to me. I feel like a lot of bacteria would sit on those stones because they're on the ground, so that was another last resort. I thought about just finding a stick with some bark on it maybe, but that just felt dirty, like parasites could be sitting on that. So if you find moss, you are in luck. Be thankful, say a prayer to the woods. And I wanna hear your crap stories. Let me know if you found yourself in a situation where you just had to go, you couldn't hold it, and let me know what you use to clean yourself off. Like I said, I just couldn't not share that. I thought it was hilarious, but that might save you in the future if you're out in the woods. There's several other things that you can use. I'm not gonna list that, so just do a quick Google search or drop it down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys, but that's it for that story. I hope you guys thought it was funny. Diesel and I are gonna finish our walk and continue our day. I'm feeling fresh. Honestly, I feel amazing. I feel like nature man. I feel like I got resurrected as the duty God. And the reason why I felt safe with this, like bacteria wise, is because it sits off of the ground and water beads off of it. So it's constantly getting cleaned. And they say that this moss holds iodine in it, which is, you know, antibacterial. So that is pretty cool to know. And as long as everything checks out in a few hours, I will use this method plenty of times in the future. Well, if I have to. <laughs> but it's absolutely crazy all the way out here in the deep woods I find trash floor mats at that how the heck did that get in there it must have just blew in from the road it's crazy I'm gonna pick that up and take it out and now we're getting rained on good morning I'm still smiling though I'm having a good time out here but also with the toilet paper shortage that might help you guys out so drop a like on this video and that information might save someone from a real effed up day. Diesel, you gonna wipe that? 
Must be nice. Must be nice. Good times. Good times. Oh, this is fucked. We just got dumped on. This is nuts. Honestly, this stuff makes you feel like you're a kid again. I love it. Get back. Oh my God. Look at this drain system put to work. I need to put a dry well in here ASAP. All right, buddy, let's get inside. Oh, that's completely filled up too. That's not good. Well, lesson learned, dry well has to go in soon. Diesel, it's hard to dry you off. He's like, man, I'm just glad to be back.